Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SLS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Tuesday, so that is where the green line here is coming from, uh, but that's also segues into the first update that needs to be done, and this update comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So going forward, 16 cents gonna be that key level, and you can actually already see this rule is played out uh, you know, very nicely. So the price gap down below it, Tried this morning to get up above it, rejected, tried again, rejected. So I'm not saying the price can't break, you know, above 16 cents ever again. I'm just saying, you know, it, it makes sense why the price is now struggling to get up above that level, um, you know, just from, you know, the technical perspective of things. So 16 cents, definitely that key level. And really the, the key thing going forward now is, you know, the, the chart is in what I would call in damage control because the chart has been damaged quite a bit now because with the these closes down below 16 cents, I mean, that's literally, if you kind of match it up, that's putting the price essentially right back to where it was before the big gap and run that occurred a few days or you know about a week ago. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not a sign of true power. But now the key thing is, well, making sure that it doesn't you know, continue to separate because the further it drops to the downside, that's just a further and further back to where it actually goes. And especially if it were to break down below 12 cents, then after 12 cents, that's essentially, it'll kind of match this up. So there's below 12 cents. At that point, that's essentially down at these all-time lows before you know the big move happened. And definitely, you know, price movements that go back to all-time lows after a big movement upwards. I mean, that's definitely the exact opposite of any sort of true sign of power or bullishness or anything like that. So right now, the chart is definitely broken, but it, you know, I, I would summarize it as being kind of in damage control. And you just don't want to see the price separate any further because the further it separates to the downside, the closer and closer it gets to potentially breaking down below 12. And after 12, in, in my opinion, at least, that's kind of the game over point because again, that would literally be putting the price right back to where it was in those low points of the chart. So we'll see what happens with it, but uh, you know, this one is really starting to bleed and uh, we'll see if the bulls can get things uh, under control or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.